Welcome to Democracy Mao. We're here. Are we on? Is your camera on? Is everything on? I'm pretty sure that's on. Can you do do me a favor and check on that? Make sure Um, everything's on. I'm pretty sure it's on. All the equipment. It's on. Everything's on. I'm on. Your host, Wilfred Padua. I've got my guests here. Jeff Shane, regular guest. Hello. Gary Madeira. Semi-regular guest. Gary, where, what Gary? What are you wearing a shirt? Was it a Crunchies? Crunchies in East Lansing. What's that? What is it's it? It's a bar. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Wow, well, Gary in a shirt from a bar. Mm. Yeah. Big surprise. <laughs> Alcoholic. <laughs> what have you been doing, <laughs> Gary? Uh, since last time we talked, uh, been researching. Uh, what is it? The pickleball stuff. I'm like this close to buying the rackets and an entire set. Oh, dude, I bought. I was. I so the rackets that I sent you though. Yeah. Not, are they not ideal? I don't know anything. I think about they're fine, but I was looking at like the net and the balls and everything. And oh, the okay. Lines. Yeah. And then, but where are you going to set that up? There's like this over by Smorgasburg. Like I see people playing all the time over there. Oh, it's something you would have to set up though. Yeah. Okay. And then I sub- met someone. There was a customer who came in, and I was like, "Oh, is that easy to set up?" And she's like, "Yeah, it's so easy. You got to get one." I'm like, "All right." How much is it? it? It's around a uh, hundred bucks. Okay. You yeah. got that? Um. I'll find. I'll find a way. Gary is very poor. <laughs> I'm very yeah, poor. he is. Yeah, it's uh, it's real. This is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying that we. What is as you? soon as we start recording, that starts. I but really yeah, Gary, I love it. Uh, I love where you live. <laughs> <laughs> so much action on this I've been, corner. Uh, I've been looking Wilfred's at, hot corner. I've been looking at. Uh, that should be the name. Of the I was podcast. just looking at some property like. On Zillow, uh huh, because you know we're about that age and uh, we're starting to accrue some money, uh huh. Um, and there was one place that's not too far from here on Knickerbocker mm-hmm. that is seven hundred thousand uh, dollars for like uh, an entire building. So you're you're talking about like six units. No way. It's probably a dilapidated. Piece of sh- yeah, it's probably awful in there. They didn't send any. There were no pictures of the indoors. But it made me think, I don't know if I want to still be here. This oh. neighborhood is awful. Gary and I, last time Ooh. we were here, Gary and I saw a lady diarrhea on the corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Yeah. And was Gary was hard hard as hell. <laughs> Ew. He got, he was like, why couldn't you do that on my coffee table? No, what you do <laughs> is just, uh, as you get older, head, head to, like, deep south Brooklyn. You think uh, that that's going to get gentrified, though? Where I picked up, no, like deep where you need a car. Like Park Slope? Is so I deeper? think, I mean, deeper. like, the, oh, real, okay. the real money maker is this one. And then you fix it up, and then you turn it into, you know, you rent it out for 4000 a month to for each one bedroom or whatever. You're going to fix it up. I did this. I put your, wallpaper up. I was going to say, your girlfriend did this. And I did this. I did all of this. a couple pictures. You physically did. did this with the design of it. I designed this, too. Really? Go go out there and ask her. No, he didn't. I promise you. No. Well, you picked out that. I picked out that. That was in my Amazon cart. Uh, I picked out the color as well. Yeah. Okay. So all you need, to, this is what you, so you're going to buy. And I made that, that collage. You're gonna, so you're going to buy this giant building and what, paint it and throw some pictures up? I well, <laughs> you can't do nothing, <laughs> Jeff. You're one to talk. Okay. I <laughs> know uh, I wouldn't do nothing. I own a power drill. I know how to power. You, I know how to power drill. Oh, I mean, no, I'm just yeah. you. Power wouldn't, drill your ass. I wouldn't do anything either. <laughs> but I think Chelsea could probably do a lot of work. She's got tools. Yeah, that's the thing. Is I was like, maybe I'll, I'll split the. Maybe me and Chelsea will buy the property. Me, Chelsea, oh. and Teresa. Yeah, have yeah have Chelsea use her wood skills and she can make a rickety bookcase yeah and then <laughs> <laughs> what would it be rickety <laughs> it was rickety she built a bookcase and it's oh, rickety. okay so <laughs> yeah. but man that lady when she took it it was a big fat dump yeah so you should yeah so you want to die in this neighborhood no i want to leave this neighborhood but i would like to make money off it because it's where do you want to what where would you like to die oh. where do i want to die mm-hmm. wow. i think <laughs> we were looking at um we were watching some show uh, of like people in Italy, uh-huh. like uh, a cooking show in Italy. Okay, and I was like, I would die in Italy. Maybe I mean, sure. So we're I guess we're going pie in the eye. Yeah, you know, no money holding you back. You can afford to go to Italy. Italy can't be that expensive. 
I think it's pretty snap. I mean, to set up shop, you got to change countries. Yeah, I mean, Visa, that's, that's ship, a lot. All that. But I think they need people. Uh, yeah, not old people. I think no everyone, country's like, please yeah. give us your elderly to die here. But I think we're going <laughs> to, you set it up early. You set it up uh, within the next 20 years. I think we're good. Give me, give me a realistic. Give me a realistic destination. A realistic destination to die. Yeah, it's I've probably going to be in America. Okay, odds are. I think we're both aware that it's going to be somewhere in the states. All right, I guess Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. Where's like, r- that's it's upstate. Oh, upstate on yeah. the Hudson. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. You want to go upstate? I'll go upstate. Man wants to die upstate. Yeah. Take me down to upstate Let New me York die for some... me to die in the river. Well, I mean, next to a waterfall. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah, where are you going to die? Is that where you guys went? Is that the area that... No, we went to um, Cairo or Corn or Hudson was really like the, the biggest town mm-hmm. oh, okay. around us. Me? I would probably end up somewhere, somewhere south. I foresee. I would. You know what? You know where I'd like to go? Spend my twilight years, then fade away into the depths of darkness. Dude. Savannah, Georgia. Really? Oh, have you been? No. Oh. It's beautiful. I think I've driven hmm. through it. Is you've it that dr- pretty? What? Yeah, I've driven through it. You've never. You've not driven through Savannah. I think we dri- drove through uh, Georgia one time. Why would? Yeah, but you wouldn't drive through Savannah. Savannah's like out of the way, kind of. Oh, okay. Maybe it wasn't Savannah. Maybe. Were there like willow trees? Lots of willows. Uh, this was, I don't know, 30 years ago. 30? 30? Yeah. Yeah, maybe there were some willow trees, but I don't know. Gary, what's going on over there? You know what he was doing? <laughs> I think he was trying to burn it down uh, to save the to save the Union. That's why Gary was down there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Civil War. Yeah, yeah, but it's very, I would probably, yeah, Savannah, Georgia. I was okay. there. Gary, where are you going to die? I'm dying in the Philippines. Oh, he wants to go back home. Yeah. 75 i'm just gonna move back yeah really yeah Try to just die next to all the prostitutes that you purchased <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he's gonna go, yeah, there. go out like that man that's fucking <laughs> he'll have his emergency 100 hundred dollar bill yeah <laughs> go fetch gr- go fetch grandpa some dying hoes <laughs> <laughs> surround me boy <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> on the beach, there's going to be no hose. Just me on the beach, just chilling. Yeah, just you on the beach. You're going to die on the beach? Yeah. Well, You're going to die, uh, like, far away from Manila? Uh, Yeah. Well, it is, yeah. Because we're not from there. We're from, like, yeah. a different part. I think I'm going to, like, definitely leave city life. Just be, That'd be smart. in the woods or something. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, oh, nice. wow. All different areas. Upstate, Georgia. Going all the way to the Philippines <laughs> to die on the edge of the beach so we yeah. can get washed out to sea. Hell yeah. Just become one with the earth. Yeah, the tide pulls him out. Man, we're going to have to go to the Philippines for his funeral in like the next 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When he's, yeah, 75? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be th- crying. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be Garrett, throwing stop, myself all over Gary's stop body. Stop doing what you're doing. Oh, okay. Stop you're, playing with the cord? You're, yeah, you're choking on me. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Everyone's gonna look at me like, was that Gary's lover? <laughs> yeah. He's deeply yeah. upset. <laughs> We're gonna crying? film Brokeback Mountain, but uh, about your death. About my <laughs> 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 no, that's, that sounds gross. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. Like it's just gonna be all the death scenes, the post-death scenes in Brokeback Mountain. Like, you know, I'm <gasps> I'm in his closet, hugging his clothes and crying. <laughs> Oh, I never saw it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's the only scene that I saw. I oh, saw he, that one, and I saw the Anne Hathaway sex scene. He dies? One of them dies. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I think it's... I'm Spoiler sure. alert. I mean... I was going to watch that. Two two gay men. <laughs> One's going to die. It's that's been how, on my bucket list. That's how... Your bucket list. That's how all these gay movies die. Uh, like, end. One dies. How many gay movies have you seen? Uh, well, like Philadelphia, one died. Dallas um, Buyers Club. Dallas Buyers Club. Um, Club. Broke back. Did one died in um, Moonlight? Did not see Moonlight. There's another gay movie that came out recently. I didn't. I don't remember what, but I did watch it. It came oh, out the same year as Moonlight. Oh, what's that one that's out right now uh, with Kristen Stewart? Looks good, actually. I want to see it. Well, it's kind of like a comedy, isn't it? 
No, no. it looks like a violent, like, there looks like there's like a murder or something. There it is. Love it Lies Bleeding? Bleeding. Love Lies Bleeding. Looks oh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Gary, did you think it was fun? It was a comedy because they were killing gays? No. No. <laughs> no, I thought it was funny. I thought that there was that like a. I mean, that's what you think is funny? No, that's not what I think is funny. All right, okay. Leave Gary alone. Just asking questions. That's all I'm doing. Um, yeah, you know, I saw Sam yesterday. Once again, two days in a row. Really? Yeah. Sam Evans. Sam Evans. Tell me. His birthday was the day before. We got we hung out with him. First time we, uh, me and Jeff did a real hang. Oh. Okay. Went to the cellar. Uh, stayed there until like almost midnight. Oh. Um, and then. Do you have a spot at the cellar? No. Oh, you just went to hang. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Why'd you throw that in his face, Gary? Yeah, Gary. I thought it was. That's you pointed at me. <laughs> there was really surprise in your rude. voice. <laughs> Because I used to work there. I know. That's why I was pleasantly Why are you bringing surprised? up his old flame? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Once you mention his ex-girlfriend, too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we went there, and then, uh, yeah, Sam's got his, his stuff about his dead mom is so fucking funny. Oh, is it? It's great stuff. Yeah. but So you got to watch that guy. <laughs> All right. Guy. <laughs> All right. You heard it here first. He's next. Watch, watch him. Sam Evans is next. Watch a, Sam. Um, yeah. He's hilarious. He's great. Oh, are you excited for a beach day, Gary? I am. It was an aggressive beach day, though. I was like, that's why there was that exclamation point. It was like, we're going to the beach. You can't say no. Yeah, you can't say no. When there are we go. going? When are we going to the beach? August, uh, August 5th. 5th. August we, 5th? We did a Monday, so Gary can come. Okay. Who's yeah. all going? Is it just us three or? And the ladies get come lady? too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bring You have to bring a girl, Gary. Yeah. Oh, Christ. You both have to wear bras. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we both have to wear two beats. Yeah. Yeah. You got to yeah, you gotta bring bring a lady with you, Gary. It's all the right. boys and girls. All right. Otherwise, who, who are you going to play uh, nude strip volleyball with? Oh, we're playing strip we're volleyball, <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. Every time it hits the ground, you got to take off an article of clothing. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we're all just wearing one thing. I'm already starting. <laughs> I'm starting in just swim, swim trunks. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll have my swim shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gary comes in with several layers of clothing. <laughs> I have one speedo. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! I let it hit in front. <laughs> Do you think people play nude beach volleyball? It'd be pretty awful to be a woman. A lot of flopping, yeah. man. Yeah, and fun. dudes. Yeah. That sucker would be smacking me in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about the sand in the crotch. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Gross. That's going to ruin a woman's pH. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> Wilfred's so concerned with pH levels. I'm con- that's one of my biggest concerns. Really? Yeah. Is that why you got all those pool strips in there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those test strips. Yeah. Con- a little dip. Yeah. When Teresa falls asleep, just do a little dip. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> gross. Wilfred, you can't be gross. <laughs> Only I can be gross. <laughs> While we're at it, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Wilfred channel, Wilfred Padua channel on YouTube. Um, and check out the podcast on, uh, uh, check us out on Spoon. We're on Spoon. We're on Spoon right now. Spoon man. Yeah, we're with Millie right now. Um, and then check us out on, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Gary, put your fucking phone down. (laughs) We're in the middle of plugs, which is a very important segment for us. I was going to plug that picture and put it on Instagram and be like, hey, listen. You're going to plug a picture? Oh, he's going to post the picture in his stories (laughs) with a link or something. Yeah. See? (laughs) Don't hit Gary's phone. Crazy, man. (laughs) Yeah, he's got no case on that thing. And then uh, follow the Democracy Mail page. Follow me at Wilfred Padua, New York Jeffrey, and Garcom. Woo! Let's get into today's Asian topics. Gary, I like your handle, Garcom. Thank you. It sounds like it's like a TV production company. Yeah. Like at yeah. the end, Garcom. Ooh, I like that. You know? <laughs> That's going to be a thing. And then a dog goes, woof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely a Garcom. Yeah. This has been a Garcom production company. Woof. Ooh, I like that. And yeah. then, uh, <laughs> yeah, Gary, you're going to have to get it together to, uh, yeah. to make that happen. Uh, you're, maybe you can use that uh, Gary comedy uh, email email address <laughs> one day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Gary, you really got to get it together. Yeah. You only got what 
13 years left yeah. till you got to go to Philippines and die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got time. I got time. I got time. Things are going to happen. He's I'm going to set up he's a already studio. talking like Joe Biden. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would you say 75? 75. So you got you got 30 years. I have 30 years. 30 years till you got to go to the Philippines and die. Yeah. You're going to you're going to go to the Philippines at 75. That's what he said. 75. Not a, not any earlier. Well, to live at 75. Does that make sense? Like, I'll visit. No, no, yeah, I, but you had to move to. But yeah. you're gonna start retirement at 75. Yeah. Man, that's so late, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that's so fucking late. Well, I mean, I mean you see fun. how like disabled our presidential candidates are at 75. Dude, you should see my family. We're a healthy bunch of. I'm pretty much like quit smoking. Like I have like this. <laughs> I'm drinking only one night a week, which that's is terrible. Man. Uh, I'm back back on the running. That's going to stick. You'll make it, Gary. Gary, you're, you're like four days into this new life. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. It's going to be amazing. 75. Yeah. Amazing. Right. Could you could you move to the Philippines? Could you, you get dual? Yeah, you have dual? I'm working on it. Yeah, you can't I don't get... have dual yet, but my I, yeah. I do have the option for it. I just but you could problem. move to Philippines, no problem. Yeah. I think you have to... Um, oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of... Uh, did you know that we can get spanish citizenship oh i didn't know that yeah filipinos can because we have spanish heritage in us i mean oh. i guess not every filipino but like i can definitely do it because i know that i have spanish blood oh uh, interesting so, really yeah so i can go to spain maybe i'll do spain instead of italy dude that do you can do spain do spain spain would be a great place to die i don't know much about spain though spain's beautiful yeah go to spain to die all right i'll do spain um, could I go to the Philippines? Yeah, you can hang out. Could I move there? Yeah, they've got to make it easy for Americans. I was going to say, yeah. do they take white Americans? Oh, I've seen them in the city. Like, whites. it's weird. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I'll be at the guys. grocery store. Oh, sorry. And and there'll be, like, an older white couple, and I'll be like, oh, they must have retired. Really? Yeah. So I could retire and go to the Philippines? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll go there. And your dollar will go far, dude. I think I might. Should Surrounded by people I let's love. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's do I'll that. Go to, I'll go to the Philippines, too. That's all where right. I belong. Yeah, we'll set you up in the village, man. Yeah, let's all go to the Philippines. I like this a lot. And Gary's got some property for us to do chicken fights on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll watch some of that as an old, yeah. old man smoking cigars. Oh, hell yeah. We'll be those guys, man. Kids don't talk to me anymore. I move to the Philippines. Buy prostitutes. All right, here's the first question. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Asians lack community solidarity? Do you guys see this? Uh, oh, no. I was watching that thing. Well, this was also on the. This has been on the uh, the page for a minute now. Um, this is a question in regards to Asian representation and solidarity. In comparison to Black Americans, there seems to be a lack of Asian solidarity or push by individuals. Sorry, I'm getting some acid reflux from that coffee we just drank. Ew! Come on, let me get some acid reflux. Um, Asian solidarity are pushed by individuals to promote communities' interests such as Asian businesses, actors, or people across the board. For example, some of the biggest Hollywood directors, James Wan, M. Night Shyamalan, I mean, have rarely ever casted Asians in their movies, let alone l in leading roles. Why don't they try to uplift the Asian, uh, Asian American community? Is it because our, uh, our more... Is it because Asians are more conditioned to believe in meritocracy where we think that we can achieve anything as long as we work hard enough? Um, a lot of the sentiment also extends to the idea of uh, Asian Americans. Um, what are your opinions? I think there's uh, Asian community solidarity. I don't know necessarily on the media level, but like I feel like there's a lot of like groups that I know of uh, that seem to come together. My friend's like involved in the Democratic Party. He's Japanese, and like he always involves me in stuff, which I think is wonderful. That's nice. Yeah, I met George Takei one time. He came through Michigan. Takei. 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 I thought it was Takei. Okay, it's Takei. And uh, that was pretty cool. And there was a How bunch was of different it? Asians. How would you meet him? Was he like, oh my? <laughs> he, no, he just said hello in a very. I was like, wow, like. It's like one thing to hear him like on TV and like I've watched like a couple of interviews, but when he like talks live, it's like, whoa, dude, this is captivating. Oh, really? Yeah. How and big is he? Is he tiny? He's tiny. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, always yeah. tiny. Um, and uh, I didn't do it. It was pretty like there's only twelve of us at dinner, and um, yeah. Like, you had dinner with George Sakai? Yeah. 
Oh wow! Whoa! Yeah, I think I have a picture somewhere. But that's yeah. cool. Yeah. See, Gary's so ingrained in the Asian guy. How come you're not? Uh, no, you're you're not. Well, it's because I Asian. haven't. Uh, Gary's not that ingrained. Gary's in, he's, <laughs> he's having dinner with George ingrained. Takai. <laughs> yeah. When you live long enough, you have cool experiences here <laughs> and there. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Gary's very in touch with the community. <laughs> I love that. And so He's not that in touch. <laughs> He's super in touch. Not here in New York, but definitely back in. You're uh, pretty in touch here in New York. Every other week, you're like, oh, is that this Asian festival? Or yeah, is that some Asian event gathering? that you guys can't, weren't invited to? <laughs> yeah. That's true. You're, you're very connected. There. You could have been, yeah. So. How are you so connected, Gary? Um, I just know people. He I shows just, interest. I show interest, and I just kind of meet people, too. It's, uh, do you ask to go to these things? Or these people just every everyone invites you to stuff? So a friend from college, she runs like the DEI at the Met, and so that's how I got into that uh, particular uh, mm-hmm. circumstance. And then, uh, I guess it's just she runs the DEI, yeah, which Diversity, is the diversity, inclusion, yeah, equality, equality, equality inclusivity, inclusivity, uh, yeah. So she runs. What is that? She's that part entail? of the program, or yeah, she's part of whatever. That part of the Met is that administrative part. So, um, so what? Just bringing in artworks from people of color, or getting people of color communities involved in the Met? Yes, it's, it, I think it's more that. Oh, it, yeah, okay. yeah. I think curating the art is a little bit. Yeah, that's. Isn't that the Met thing. all old art? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's some old Asian stuff. Yeah, but you can't. What are you? What are you trying to include? Like new Asian stuff in it? Uh, I think you could. Don't you got to wait till it gets old? No, there's like yeah. modern art to it. There is? Yeah, there's stuff from like oh. 1990. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know? It, yeah, most of it is pretty like old. Yeah, but there's a, there's a wing of new modern yeah. stuff. Okay. So that could be a curated. Yeah. So you think there is community solidarity? You think I think I've experienced, yeah, the solidarity. You yeah. have. But, but do you think that it's as effective as like other cultures? Like compare it to... Uh, the Desi community, compare it to the black oh. community, compare it to literally any other minority community. <laughs> um, I don't think uh, Asians as a whole are probably not as well uh, organized, it seems. And I'm actually, this, I've talk, I'm talking about like... Like you were talking, uh, so we're talking about like large scale. Yeah. You gave us an example of uh, 13 people at dinner. <laughs> that were involved in the Democratic Party in Michigan. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Thirteen Asians <laughs> came together. It was in the. There was. Uh, well, uh, George's husband's white. I didn't know that. I was oh, like, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Man. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we strike again. <laughs> Even when you're gay, we'll get you. <laughs> you find a way in there. <laughs> and so yeah. <laughs> But like on a larger level, nah, I, and we might see it. We might see it now, especially that. Uh, what do you call it? On a larger level, yeah, Kamala. Yeah, Kamala kind of is like. She doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't count. I don't care if you're running for president. <laughs> you're not. You're not all of a sudden Asian. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's another like. Isn't First, like she doesn't count in two levels because she's also half. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, isn't like Asian her. communities She's like half and half Indian, which isn't even Asian. <laughs> there's like a lot of racism between the Asian communities too. Yeah. So like, there's a lot of fracturing there. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a huge con. It's the biggest continent. So there would, you know, of course, there's going to be, you yeah, know, but not a huge sense of community when it's that large. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I think that like it's. It's possible for Asians to come together. I definitely think it is. But I also think the Asians are fucking, uh, like, they don't, I don't know. They just, uh, for some reason, they don't care that much. Asians? I don't think so. I think ca- Asians are, like, all about showing, looking like they care, but they don't think they really do. Huh. Gary disagrees. Uh-huh. Gary, why? Just why do you disagree? Well, there's like other I'm stuff. I'm on Gary's side. Go ahead. Um, like some of the Gary, solidarity. tell me what Jeff thinks. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's um, <laughs> Jeff. This is what you think. Uh, that I don't know. I follow a lot of uh, other. There's like this Filipino organization that I follow in Philadelphia. 
Oh. See, Gary is in touch. And, like, they're, uh, you know what they often post about because, like, 76ers want to build, for whatever reason, uh, a stadium or in, in Chinatown. So it's just going to ruin Chinatown. And I've been following. This is why I'm interested. And, like, the Filipino people or the organization posts, uh, or at least reposts a lot of the stuff that the organization organization behind the don't build in Chinatown mm-hmm. organization. So I was just like, oh, I feel like there's solidarity there. But on the, yeah. Like the Filipinos are like pro Chinese right there to save the Chinatown? Yeah. Okay, so they're, yeah, they're coming together. So they're working to support together. One another. Okay, let's, uh, maybe this is what's happening. Do you think that Asians are coming together to support each other, but there's just no media showing that this is actually happening? Yeah, that's a good insight. Yeah. And then no one cares about, I mean, no one does care about Asians in American history. That's yeah. not at all a concern. Yeah, there was a. You're in the. I just watched that Kevin Costner Horizon Western movie. Oh, really? Yeah, we're in there. There's a small scene where there's some Chinese people working on a railroad. I was gonna oh, say yeah. that's probably what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once again, I can't be right today. <laughs> I cannot win. <laughs> there you go. There's some representation. Yeah. Constantly corrected. There you go. Oh hell yeah! Look at this room. Annie Beth, Annie Beth, thank you for being here. Hello, Annie Beth. Uh, Maddie, you rock. James is here. Hell yeah. It's a slow burn kind of pod. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> slow <laughs> burn. Regular, I man. thought that we... This is fucking cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, right now we're rec- recording a podcast. This is for the Spoon Gang. Um, so, uh, yeah. All right. Next next topic. Well, so I after after the end of this, I'm gonna have to go with Gary wins <laughs> points. <laughs> Gary, Asian unity. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> I want to start treating this like uh, <laughs> points. <laughs> Gary yeah. at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fifteen love. <laughs> <laughs> or what's that sports one where the guy just gives random points to people when they make good points? What? Ah, uh, it's on ESPN. He just sits to the moderator. He was like, oh, bing, bing, bing. I, I, I was I've like, seen Drew Carey in whose line? No, he just gives a uh, kind of like that. He just gives random points. points. Yeah, Either I, way, I've Gary, I'll give Gary about. F- I'll give Gary four points. Sweet. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Gary. At Thank the you. end of these, uh, the white guy gives points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, no. oh man, he turned it on us. He turned it on us. Damn it. That's right. All right, Gary. What do you think about this? Uh, my son walked in on me performing oral sex on his father. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. This me. wasn't an Asian masculinity, was it? Uh, they're Asian. Who cares? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who cares what they <laughs> Me, 45 female. Son, 18 male. Nice. Uh, he was out celebrating the end of his exam, so we figured we'd have the place to ourselves for the day. We were wrong. My husband can't stop laughing, but I'm absolutely mortified. Uh, how do I even begin to apologize for putting this image in his mind? Should I leave him a while to, pr- to process what he saw? Or am I better off addressing it as soon as possible? Before, so let me. Uh, so what happened was he left. I I read the comments. He left, and then they got all Randy in the living room. She started sucking Daddy off. Mm-hmm. And That's then, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah honestly, uh, pretty cool of a mom. Mm-hmm. But well, how would you feel if uh, if you saw your mom sucking your dad off? Oh God. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, uh, I'd probably vomit a little. No, I. You'd I, vomit? No, I wouldn't vomit. But that's gross. Be honest, Gary. It'd be gross, but like at the same time, I'm always just like, hey, we're all adults now, so shit happens. What do you mean shit happens? You're gonna, uh, I don't know. They're at home. God, you're, you're like, such a sex shamer, Gary. <laughs> Gary, yeah, give me a give me a stance here. You want a stance? He's dancing the line. I I'll am. tell you mine. I'll let you think. I if I walked in, I saw my mom it was. Relating my father, yeah, I would be. That's great. I would be. I you would give think him a th- thumbs up. I think I'd be like, well, I'd be, like, I'd be gross. B- I don't like seeing this. I'd yeah. go over and pat my dad on the back. <laughs> 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 but to say, see, like you know, people that you know, and that still being sexually active, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You don't want your parents to be cold and hating and each in other. such a uh, like. To it's not like they're just. Putting it in, grinding it out, and then one your dad jizzes and that's it. You <laughs> will, Fred. You're so gross. It's, yeah, it's, Gary. Points. More points <laughs> for Gary. 
What you, I was being very scientific and clinical. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> Too scientific. Uh, but you, I think what you do, like, it's your mom sucking off your dad. That's pretty cool. It, That's it, young it, stuff. That is young. Is it young stuff? It shouldn't be, though. That's young stuff. That's young stuff? Yeah. Yeah, like that's like there's still a spark in that marriage. Yeah, and that's you want a spark there. But you don't yeah. want your parents to it's like gross. just read newspapers next to each other. Yeah. So yeah. you would hate it, Gary. I would. I would hate seeing it. But would you be like, that's good? I would. I would. Uh, yeah, that's good. I, I think it's good that. Uh, I don't even want to say my. All right. Yeah. If my dad's right. getting sucked off. Flip it. Flip, flip it. it. Yeah, you're your daddy now. <laughs> I'm daddy. Yeah, and then my son, and then your mom is sucking you. <laughs> Ew, no, Fred. <laughs> Jeez. Then, uh, oh, what are you doing, home son? Yeah, yeah. Then you see your son walks in. Yeah, and I'd be like, yeah, I'd give him a thumbs up, and then uh, I'd be happy about that. That'd be cool. You think it's cool that your son sees you suck getting sucked off? Yeah. Gary, well, he's not gonna watch. He's just but, gonna walk but, in, right? But if then, he wa- if, if he looks wa- for more than two seconds, I'm. Get the fuck out of here, Gary. This is <laughs> quite the double standard that you're that you're putting out there. What? No, I'm you not. You can get sucked off in front of your son, but your parents can't get can't suck each other off in front of you. <laughs> well, well you're, you're the way you're describing it is like we're all watching one another, like we're set up to be watching, like and that's not the case. Like he walked in on him. Yeah, yeah, and like if you walk in on it, I don't want to walk in on my parents having oral sex. But if your son walks in, if your son walked in on you, you'd give him a thumbs up. Yeah, gross, Gary. That's, that's a gen- awful. It's generational. That's gross. The, what, the thumb. That's points, Wilfred. <laughs> 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 I give him a thumbs up, and then I point out. I like, know. <laughs> Ew! I hate that. Yeah, that's that awful, Gary. You gotta have shame, Gary. <laughs> yeah, if it was the other way around. Oh, excuse us. You mm-hmm. want one of those? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's some. That's fine. I would say through. I'm sorry, son, and then as I, you know, I, I always come as I'm apologizing. So, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Annie Beth. Thanks for being in here. Yeah, Annie was like, Bye. I'm out of here. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah, this is, is gonna getting ride. gross. Annie, we'll see you later. Uh, I'll I'll open up a group chat later. Um, let's see. All right. This person. I want this is actually a good question for you, Gary, hmm. because y- this person was talking is talking about uh, they were born in a very not Asian part of the states. Let me just continue reading. Uh, so my upbringing was pretty whitewashed, aside from eating Asian food at home and hearing my mom speak the uh, with her relatives uh, in whatever language. Mm-hmm. I moved to LA a few years ago and spent some time in the s- uh, in the part of LA that uh, has Asian food and stuff. Hold on. Okay. But I had a hard time relating to a lot of the Asian Americans there. To be honest, I've met a lot of Asian folks from these enclaves who understandably talk about how they aren't interested at all in living in a more diverse part of the country. So and they, like, grew up in amongst Asians only. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are um, they talking, like, like, a, like a Koreatown? Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Grew up in Koreatown, stay in Koreatown, don't feel like mixing with everybody else? Yeah. Ugh. Boring. Yeah, I don't like that. So, uh, but this person saying I, uh, they, but they, they, they're okay with doing that. Now, I also get that. What I understand the feeling of wanting to just be around your people. It's, it's easier. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, as someone who grew up in that situation, it is easier. Yeah. yeah. But if I, but if I was still like, no. I only still hang out with whites. Every you guys would be like, "You suck," right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, look, I'm not uh, like I don't think we're judging the characters of the people. Well, actually, we probably are. Uh, if I keep reading this post, so this per uh, this person is saying, uh, "Is it wrong?" Pretty much, they're asking, "Is it wrong that I can't figure out how to uh, um, connect with these people?" Uh, you know. Th- no, I think you just kind of you relate to what you know. Yeah. I don't even think honestly, I don't think any of this stuff is like uh I mean, yes there is some race and history and that is there, but I think most of this stuff is regional. Say that again. 
I think most of the stuff is regional. Like if you grew up from the f- same regions, like Gary and I grew up in Michigan. Yeah. And we'll always connect. I can connect with Gary on the fact that we are both from that Midwest. I always connect with people from the Midwest region, regardless of what they look like. Yeah, because we, uh, yeah. Like, even, like, uh... Because we have so many shared experiences. Yeah. Like, there's some bit that uh, Emil Joaquim has about, like, going on a boat in Indiana. I'm like, oh. And I was just like, yeah, I know what that experience is. Like, I've been on a boat in Michigan. It's very Midwestern-y. Yeah. So, like, regardless of ethnicity. Yeah, but regardless of location in the U.S., Gary and I also have a connection. Yes. Because we are people that look the way that we do in America, and we're treated a certain way by the general population right and i think that's just yeah i think that's just as valid yeah so uh i don't know gary um do you have friends that like grew up in only asian communities? um not really like um i feel like most of the filipinos that i grew up with like we all had like a similar situation and so you know, we all went to school, but then, like, there's, like, the uh, the uh, island cultural or group that we belong to. Like, we'd get together and we'd do that. So, I I don't relate to this. Like, I, who, like this person, like, I could relate to the people who grew up in, like, Asian enclaves. Because I feel like, at least you in the middle. You can relate to them? I can relate to them, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, I know what it's like for people to grow up in those Asian enclaves, and I can relate to them. Does that sound right? I think that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what you're... <laughs> Is that what he's trying to say? I think I see what he's trying to say. Yeah. You can you can do regional, and you can do people that grew up in only Asian enclaves. Yes. Gary can do both. I can do both. Can you yeah. can go back and forth. I, I guess I, what I was saying was I think it's more... I say with regional first. Yeah. And then... Yeah, then I would say that's second. For me, I guess it will always be regional. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, my family is pretty much, they've created this, the Asian enclave. Yeah. Like, all of their friends are Filipino. Same thing with my brothers. Uh, my uh, One of my brothers who's just got Filipino friends. And I don't think I feel that comfortable around them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. But then you are, aren't you the one that's like, you grew up most American? I mean, I grew up... Out of your family, right? We all grew up in the same household. I'm the one that left. And then I've got, you know, I started a podcast with uh, uh, a white guy. <laughs> None of them have started podcasts with white guys? <laughs> no. Oh, jeez. Did they all marry Filipino? Um, my two oldest brothers did, and then uh, my th- uh, the third one ma- married a Mexican. My sister also married a Mexican. Oh, okay. So yeah. why are you so drawn to whites? I'm not drawn to whites. What is it about us that you I can't stay t- away from? It's just you and Teresa <laughs> that I can't I can't keep my hands off of. <laughs> How did we reel you in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't laugh too hard, Gary. We've gotten our claws in you, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. what. I think it's just like... It I don't depends. see the world the same way that uh, I don't have the same values as them. You remember uh, one of the first times that we hung out, mm-hmm. you were talking about how like there are certain people that you just click with. Mm-hmm. And those are people that have the same worldview as you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, I feel like these are people that don't have the same worldview as me. And it's hard for me to find that click with them. Ooh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, it's usually similar ways. But yeah, you view the world, and for me, it is generally people I have gravitated towards. A lot of Canadians, a lot of Midwesterners, mm-hmm. but then also I've noticed Pacific Northwest too. You and you and Andy are both from over there. Yeah, there's probably another one. Albert was one. He was uh-huh. from over there. Mm-hmm. So I think that also, and that's probably part of that northern belt. Well, I maybe think, I think you had uh i'm assuming in high school you were the guy that just floated around group to group 
Yeah, I didn't have like a strong. Yeah, I didn't yeah. have a hardcore. You didn't have a group other than the the freshmen. I could fit anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would date the freshmen and then have a bunch of friend groups. <laughs> but wait, uh, did you really date a freshman as a senior? Yeah. In high school? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it was the best time of my life, Je- Gary. Gary's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I wish I could date a freshman. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oh. only time in your life you can do it, Gary. Yeah, it is really. You can't do that now. No. You pass. You passed your mo- your time. Um, but yeah, I I just don't click with those people. So, I understand how this person feels. Okay. Um, but they can't click. Yeah, they probably they're probably sound like floaters. This is probably is way more to do with like the type of person you are versus. Well, it's like my I want you I want like. my f- yeah. friend group to be diverse. Right. I want to learn from all the different people that I have in my life. Um, I don't really understand what why you would. I get why you would uh, be around just the people that look like you because it it is easier. But I didn't move to New York because it was easier. Yeah. Yeah. You're different. Yeah, I just yeah. I'm Which built different. He's yeah. built different. I just yeah. go with people whoever like not if I Gary. Gary's not built different. I'm built G- different. No, Gary's built different. I just figured if I like you, I like you, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. What's the let's get it let's get into the big meaty one. You wanna do a meaty one? That yeah. one was oh, pretty meaty. One. Which one? That last one you did. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. a pretty heavy this one. This one's this one's a uh, meaty one. This should probably this will probably take us to the rest of the podcast gary's been rolling his eyes at the fung brothers gary you rolling your eyes at the fung brothers i'm, I'm rolling my eyes at this episode so really? the fung brothers uh released a video what they which was spoon? their 10 solutions to solve america what is everyone saying on spoon mm. um james said honestly it's the difference between an open mind and people who love their echo chamber Oh yeah, yeah. Gary's an echo chamber ass. No, no. no Gary could do both. <laughs> Gary said he could swing both ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're bisexual. Yeah. Socially? You're I'm socially bisexual. bisexual? Asian, dude. Yeah. I'm bisexual. Asian. Right. He's bisexual, bicoastal, bicultural. Yeah. Gary's all bi's. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Let's get in. So, okay, the ten things that the the Fung brothers proposed to. Uh, Better America. Um, love solutions. Oh, yeah. You just want to talk about each one? I watched it as well. Yeah, we'll go. The first one that they, that they were had mentioned was uh, switch to five political parties instead of two. Gary hates this idea. Really? <laughs> Gary, you hate it? I don't hate this idea. I just, I don't get it, I guess. It's it's because we've always grown up like in pretty much a two-party system. Okay, let's hear it. Keep Wilfred, going. don't no, laugh no. at him. <laughs> let, go. let Gary go into it's this. It's a two-party system. So yes. It's like, what are these? It isn't so much that concept. It's how they, they are and how they communicate. I don't like how they talk. <laughs> I don't like the Fung Brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. But okay. You, you but have no problem with five part- political parties? Yeah. I just, I just, uh, yeah. I just. Well, you started out it. saying uh, we've had a two-party system. Might as well keep it that yeah. way. Yeah. You yeah, think I, actually, you think? I think yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of what I. Oh really? Yeah. You want to keep it two parties? You because we started out that way. We started out that way. So you want to? I'm, wanna a, keep I'm resistant to change. Yeah. Okay. And so. So like back, we started out with slavery. Uh, how are you feeling about it now? It's a bad idea. Okay. It's a very bad idea. All right. Just wanted to check. Oh God! Don't try to throw him under the bus like that. I was just checking. Gary, it on I know you're anti-slavery, and I know you're okay to change. Yeah. Yeah. But five political parties is stupid. What do you? How many do you think? Two is. I think two is. There we're right in the point of that. It is divisive. It is very home team versus away team. Yeah. You know, mm. it's too teamy. So I think you can't do five though. Yeah. Five is an odd number. You can't do a five. That's gonna. That's gonna skew it. Four. Okay. Is the magic number. Four. You get your far right. You're kind of right. You're far left. You're kind of left. But I think oh. they just want a centrist right in the middle. And no, no, that's where you, that's why because you you need to figure out who wins. You got it. You, you got to pick a, a winner. You need a Ken Bone. No, no, Ken no. Bone right in the middle. No, you do a far left, far right, medium left, medium right, and then every time we figure out where we're at, and it's usually going to oh. be a medium. Okay. Hmm. 
It will either be medium right or medium left. Yeah. Because the perfect stakes, medium right. Why don't you guys debate it out? Because Gary wants only two. Gary, you want two? I want four. You want four? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, that's like plus two, so. (laughs) That's like plus two. You want me to debate? It sure is. (laughs) It sure is. I could see no. Think about it, Gary. This is this is you're going to the voting booth. Yeah. All right. These are your choices. You got you got uh, AOC. Okay. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Kamala. Far, far ass left. Middle yeah. left. M- middle left. And then you got your Donald Trump. No, well, Donald Trump will be your last one because I think you're going middle. Oh, middle sure. right. Sure. And then so Don then Donald Trump, but then in between those two, it'd be. Uh, let me see. Mitt Romney. Yeah. Those are your choices. See? Oh, those are some decent choices. <laughs> oh, those are some decent choices. So you That's what you got. Now, uh, this is what they also want to impl- like have, which I agree with. Rank choice. Yeah. So then you number your choices. One, two, three, three and four. four. I like that. I really like that. So if you do four, then you could do rank choice. And you didn't like that because you don't like the Fung Brothers. So you yeah. don't like anything that the Fung Brothers said. So you're saying two <laughs> political parties and let's go slavery. <laughs> no, <laughs> they no. did not like slavery. They, I don't like slavery as Quit well. Quit trying to put <laughs> words know, in Jim. Gary's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> so, um, but no, I think that is an interesting concept that I did not. But I think it only works with ranked choice. Also, don't I? So I pretty much agree with the Fung Brothers. What I just don't like five. The rank <laughs> choice. So, like, all right, you, you put number, it in order. Yeah, one, two, three, four. I feel like we're in a comedy contest now. But, like, and so if the number one group uh, gets the votes, then they win? Or, like, how does the ranking work? It's like a comedy contest, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> yes, exactly. Is it, you, you, you described would, it. It's not that difficult. Yeah, they, they total up the numbers. They total oh. up the numbers. You get, you get, let's say, four points for number one, three, three. two, one. You do it uh and backwards, right? Yeah, and then you total it all up. And then you total it all up. So you'd probably give four to Trump, <laughs> three to <laughs> Romney. Would four to tr- <laughs> <laughs> he would give four to Trump. He would give four to Trump. I'm a two. moderator, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I have no opinions in this. And I, I would, would give 30 points to AOC. Yeah, so she can uh, AOC that butthole of yours. What the hell? <laughs> Just because she's an attractive young woman. She really is. <laughs> James says he'd probably pick Romney in this scenario. Oh, and Romney's like, I mean, honestly, Romney and Kamala are not even that far apart at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Would you put okay? Uh, where would uh, in the four rankings, uh, we've got uh, RFK Jr. Where does he fit? RFK? Yeah, I don't think he fits in the four. No. RFK. I think that's why you need a fifth. Oh, a whack job. You need a you need a maverick. RFK would probably be medium right. No, you don't think so? He's also got some very left ideas. Right, but I think he's got more right ideas, so I think he'd be medium right. Yeah, but he's got some far left ideas. Sure. Like what? He's he's, he's pretty big on the environment. Yeah. Oh. Medium. I'd say medium right. Anyways, I think, yeah, four. But in Gary's defense, on the two-party system, we kind of do have it in the prelim- preliminaries. You get your five choices to get it down to the one versus the other one. So there are multiple choices. But it is like, I mean, we had the multiple. We don't have the multiple choices. The fucking delegates have the multiple choices. Right, but the delegates go with who we go with. They don't go with who we go with. Oh, here we go. Bernie conspiracy. Yeah. They can suck my dick. Oh no! They <laughs> stole Bernie. From they stole them. my Bernie. Oh no! Wait, were you a Bernie hit. guy? I love Bernie. Oh okay. You were a big Bernie head. Yeah. Wow. You don't like Bernie? I like Bernie. Okay. I think he's cool. Gary just thinks he's cool. I'd probably vote for him. I send him money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did too. <laughs> Not a lot, but I sent some. I think I yeah. threw tw- I threw twenty bucks at the man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, number two point. The DA and the police chief should be harder on crime. Is that what you got from number two? That was the yeah, that was their number two point. What did you yeah. get from it? I don't know. I don't remember. Gary, <laughs> <laughs> you're the best. 
DA and police chief should be harder on crime. Yes, the district attorney and the police chief should be harder on crime. Gary, do you need a moment? He's thinking. Mm-hmm. Gary needs a moment. Here's the thing. Though. Let's vamp. Let's you vamp and I for are him. Gonna, yeah, you and I, we can't talk about the topic because you know what Gary's going to do. What copy gonna us? Do? He's going to copy exactly what we have to think. All right. I already know what I think. I'm sure you know where I stand. You're pro. You're pro. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You back police. the blue. I'm not like pro. I wouldn't. You know what? I'm not anti. I'm not anti either. I'm not anti. And I'm not Do like you back the blue. No, I, I would say I would put more money behind uh, mental health. Uh, oh, here we uh, go. Professionals being oh, involved sure. in the criminal uh, system. Oh, yeah. OK, we'll, ju- yeah. we'll just we'll just send out we'll just send out a. A hundred twenty pound social worker, and she'll <laughs> wrestle the knife from a guy with schizophrenia, with her words and her emotional intelligence. Oh, yes. shut up! <laughs> you get that lady, the, <laughs> this poor girl that just has a master's degree. Now that now some ladies diarrhea all over her, <laughs> and then she could talk to that woman. You and, think there's? And, and talk you to think that you individual? could talk? To, there's anyone that can make, talk sense into that woman? I don't think it's necessarily about sense. It's about handling the uh, situation, about the circumstances. How hey, do you mitigate the situation? Hey, yeah. you're doing this right now, um, and we need She's you to leave. She's out of her this. mind. We need you <laughs> to leave. The, we need you to leave. <laughs> She's doing diarrhea on the corner. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was there. And you're going to talk her. You're going to talk her. She finished, and then she, finished and then she walked away. <laughs> and then that would be. Uh, <laughs> See, that's the thing. You can't just talk. Everyone's like, just talk to him. She diarrhea on the sidewalk. She diarrhea on the sidewalk. You don't think she's just like, if anyone talks to me, I'll I'll snap out of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? It. If only someone had said something, I would have used a toilet. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to speak to me. Someone, you know, someone. Yeah, that's a call for help. Dude. If you're shitting on the sidewalk, come on now. That's a call for help. And like, hey, so there's you get the. She uh, did write help in her diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me! Yeah. No one's making. I'm there sh- is, uh, the, I assume, in this situation, it'd be a, uh, a a helpline of some sort. We could have made that call and, like, hey, there's this woman. She's diarrhea. She's diar. Whatever the word is on on the corner of what was that? Like, open. And- Don't say corners. <laughs> oh, well. Gary's <laughs> always on the verge of doxing. Oh, <laughs> Gary, in like ear and bush, and we need some help dealing with this woman. She needs clearly needs help. She doesn't need to be arrested and thrown in the back seat of a police car. Well, I mean, yeah, but she can make it all messy. Oh yeah, and no, that's so precious. The back yeah. of a, <laughs> the back of a police car. Yeah, yeah. she'll make it messy. <laughs> well, no, because like you can't. Gary, you can't just talk to everybody and hope that they f- they go, oh, all right, and they just come to their... She was uh, all day. I, I went on a walk before that. All day she was out there just picking her toes uh, on the corner. And then the next time, you know, we go on a walk together, she's yeah. diarrheaing on the corner. Oh, she did that for you. She did it for you. <laughs> She's yeah. Like, well, for, do you remember? But no, even that. Like, even if you saw her earlier, and maybe if we had like a you're saying I should have been like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. No, 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 <laughs> no. You call this helpline, and then someone comes like, hey, she's picking her toes. There's something not right with this chick. She's picking her toes. Yeah. She's just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Picking her toes. They'll be like, so. And they'll be like, no. Like, hey, thank you for pointing this out. We'll send someone out. Do you remember that uh, there was a video went viral? It was in San Francisco. Where uh, it was that guy, the shop owner, he owned like a wine store or something, and he had a hose, and he was just spraying that homeless lady. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, that. you remember that? <laughs> yeah, you ever saw that? It went. It was all over. Everyone was like talking about it, like, well, "Look at this piece of shit," you know. And she was just like out of her mind because she was like shitting on his yeah. storefront stoop every day. Oh wow! She was just like crap. She was yeah. So he was just like he, he had snap. He had enough. And it, there's a somebody filmed him and he's just spraying her with the hose. And everyone's like, "This is terrible!" And he got yelled at, like, "Fuck this guy's business." But that guy, like, he apologized. He's like, "Well, you know, whatnot." And he, and he said that apparently he was calling the police. Okay. To have like this taken care of. But there was nothing that the police could do because the DA and all the the system in uh, San Francisco was very much like, well, we are hands off. It's not a you know we don't 
it's not a crime to do anything that what these people are doing. They're what allowed to be to out there. Someone's they're allowed. They're like they're allowed to be out there. Like this isn't like we're not punishing. We're focusing on these types of crimes. Only violent offenders. So like what is happening? So he eventually he snapped and had to do something. Yeah. So what do you do? Oh. So I like, ev- eventually you have to like. You do have to move physically, remove these people, because I don't think you can just talk them out of it. And it's not necessarily the people, about the talking; it's how you deal with the situation. How can you deal with? Okay, hey, we need you to move, and if not, we're gonna get the cops involved. The co- if someone's shitting on something, so you just want a middleman before the cops? <laughs> no, you just I'll, want it to take fifteen more minutes to handle the situation. I it's not 15 minutes it's it's the 15 minutes that hey this is a person with some kind of issue where they think it's okay to shit on someone's business and so like hey and and so you just give it you you take the time to treat this human being in a way that says like hey this well, is not what you're the other to be thing doing. that we can do is uh is make sure that the cops treat them with respect yes but I don't think uh, cops are taught that. See, you think that cops aren't human beings. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what it is, Gary? Uh, I think they. Why are, don't Why are, don't cops just get taught the the skills, and then uh, and then if the conversation goes awry, they just uh, arrest their ass. I've seen videos, at least one video of a cop uh, de-escalating a situation. Like, I've seen Toronto. videos of a cop playing basketball with a young black and, kid and, and de-escalating <laughs> a situation so he was cool in violence. <laughs> and i cried in in canada i think it was outside of toronto and yeah so a cop can learn this i just don't think the u.s uh system uh accounts for that i don't think there's anything that they learn in cop school yeah so there needs to be police reform yeah yeah that's fine i'm down with that yeah down with police yeah police reform is fine yeah. But per, per, but reform but, costs money. Yeah. yeah. And so if they invested in that, then I, I could, if, if there was a different kind of How many of points do I get? You got some points. All right, points for Wilfred. <laughs> all right. Gary just went, all right, fine. Police though, reform. That's Gar- probably what we're going towards. All yeah, right. you want police reform? All right. You sure you don't want to get rid of all the cops and start, start sending grad students out here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not grad students. You keep on, these are these are grad students. They're just uh, they they're people with maybe a master's in social work. Yeah. yeah. You want you want me out I there know. wearing glasses? Yeah. Um, could you not do yeah. that? <laughs> no, not you. You're the no. That's you're not a grad student. And no, it'd be seasoned professionals. Seasoned, seasoned professionals. Seasoned you think that seasoned uh, social workers are going to want to do that? Yes. Gary, you're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naive. So I'm naive. Yeah, you are naive. naive. So fucking dumb. You sweet naive boy. All right, number three. How are you this old and this naive? <laughs> I don't know how you've made it so far without like experiencing anything. <laughs> <laughs> number three. The number three point of theirs was universal basic services. How do you feel about that, Gary? They want they want universal basic services for Americans. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. I okay. think uh, I. Th- I forgot what they. Gary, stop being ADHD right now. Okay. You're in the middle of a sentence. You uh, can pay attention to yourself. Where, I forgot where it was <laughs> where they gave out like $1,000 every month to people where it was like a, what do they call it? Basic. Uh, Universal uh, basic income. Yeah. And it worked out. Like people thought like people were going to take advantage of it and they were just able, to, it became like a better thing for the community. So yeah, I guess I would agree with that. I just don't like how the Fung brothers talk. <laughs> I really don't. I, I, like, I w- I'm uh, with you, Gare. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm there too. I'm with you. So wait, what, what? was it? Universal basic income? You know, no, not basic income. They're talking about services. So they're, they're talking about uh, health care. Um, yeah, health care is the biggest one. Yeah, the health care. Here's one yeah. that another thing. I that don't understand they, anybody who's anti-universal health care is so. St- oh, I like dealing with insurance companies. Yeah, no one likes. They that. suck. Here's the thing that, uh, well, I think what they're afraid of is the thing that they've never even uh, experienced, which is raising ra- the raising of taxes. Taxes are he- heavier in Canada and uh, in Europe, but if you're not, if you don't have to worry about going to the doctor, I'm fine with. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Because then you're not pay. You don't have to pay for health insurance. Plus, also, I'm assuming that the 
uh, like cost of everything else will lower because you, they're going to have to deal with what the real what the new income is. Right. Mm-hmm. And then and then a so lot you, of like you can't boost rent up uh, like it is in New York if everyone's getting taxed and then making, I don't know, 10 percent less. than they Oh, were. OK. Yeah. So but then companies be... save money, too, because then they don't have to pay for health care for their employees. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. uh, the move. I think so. We're just slowly getting there. Um, one thing that they said, wha- and ha- I don't know how you guys feel about this, uh, privileges can be taken away based on behavior. Oh, yeah. Didn't that was one of their, they're like, if, you, if you're acting a fool, we can take away your Medicaid. No. There's no way. That's totalitarian. totalitarian. Yeah, that is hard to, I, I, when they said that, that's so stupid. We're gonna give the government the power to give and take. Can you put your leg down? We gotta what? We need the camera to see your I'm ass. I'm getting comfortable. You're, <laughs> you're, you're providing good points. I want them to see you. I have great points. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This son of a bitch. How do you feel about it, Gary? Oh, that point? Privileges can be taken away. Yeah, that's, uh, no. You just got to offer them, and then people make their own choice. All you right. can't have, uh, that's too much. Also, I think that, like, if oh. you're, let's say you're the lady taking a shit on the corner. Yeah. She's out of her mind. She doesn't know how to take advantage of these services. That's when the social worker would come in. Gary, shut up. <laughs> Number four. I mean, people take advantage of services already. Yeah. yeah. Like, you'll see those EBT cards where they're like, they're like no. No hot food, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they take away their good stuff. You can't buy anything with this much sugar. And you're like, oh, man, these people can't get any ice cream. Number four, uh, they say increase EBT. Hey, increase, speaking of. Increase the amount of money that, that uh, they get. But uh, they also say regulate their choices to only healthier choices. No. Yeah, I don't think you can do that. I mean, they're already money. doing it. Oh, yeah, you were just saying, right? Yeah, they're like, no, uh, what are they, have you seen those? What do they yeah, say? Yeah, it's like no hot foods or whatever. That's the only side that I've seen. Or no like, hot food. But you can't, I think you can be like, all right, no fucking Oreos. No, let them have Oreos. Got to have at least one Oreo. Thanks, Gary. Points for Gary. Give no. the poors Oreos. No, you don't <laughs> have to. They don't need Oreos. Oh, here we go. See, this is you're too... Ju- you're just uh, falling into Big Nabisco. No, this is too totalitarian for me. I don't <laughs> like regulating. Because no hot foods... It already They already get, have shit regulated. Sure. But the no hot foods... Why not regulate it to a point where they are provided a healthier diet? Oh, God. All right. Yeah, I'll, we'll go live in fucking... Gary, give me a place of the dictator. Myanmar? Yeah, go live in Myanmar. Nice, Gary. Points for Gary. <laughs> you know? Because the hot foods I see, that makes kind of sense because then you are paying for somebody to heat it up, and that is a service, and that is not a food. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's, they're like, well, don't, don't include that. You don't got to work for free. You know, we're not paying to sure. make somebody do work. We're paying for food, you know? But I think you should be able to choose whatever you want in the store. Do stores not make any money off of EBT? No, I think they, they do. They have to. Yeah. No, they have uh, it's money on the card. Yeah. The government just doesn't want to pay like extra money for the person to have a hot turkey sandwich as opposed to a cold turkey sandwich. Because that is a service. It's They're still getting the turkey sandwich. I mean, I feel like the government sh- should just be like, you can have a turkey sandwich, you can't have an Oreo. I mean, how you, uh, I mean, think of the infrastructure on figuring all that out. And also, the Oreo companies are like, well, why do we get excluded? Exactly. They're the, you're who, keeping some money away from those companies. Who gives a fuck about them? No, no, no. I don't like it. I live in a free country, damn it. Yeah. And if I'm giving free money away, you get to spend it freely. Oreo. Yeah, you guys can suck my ass. Yeah, <laughs> God bless wanna, America. We need a, we need a, uh, Americans fucking suck and they're dumb and they need to be taught how to eat healthy. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. Gary, what's going on there? You're like, is your middle name Guderte? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, you burned the hell out of me. <laughs> yes, oh, man, my <laughs> feelings are 
crushed. Yeah, Duterte. <laughs> mm, yeah. All right. Wilford, you would be a corrupt Filipino leader. I would be. Gary would be a but man I'd of be, the people. I'd be yes. corrupt for th- for good. Be. I'd what? make them I'd make them exercise. No. Yeah, they'll be exercising by uh, doing some farming for me. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they See, can, they can we need a leader like Gary. <laughs> they yeah. can plow some, yeah, like a, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there'd, no. be we- there'd be weekly basketball games. Yeah. Who would love that? Gary would, have, would make a paradise. Yeah. Extra- yeah. Exercise isn't just. No police. Everyone's talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some police. I'm not saying you're getting rid of all of them. Oh, you murdered your wife? Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like someone needs to talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's keep moving. Number five, make issues nonpartisan. Uh, and focus. I guess they were saying focus on nonpartisan issues. Like one of them was they're talking about net neutrality, big pharma, price gouging, uh, grocery store prices. Those are all nonpartisan issues. Um, and they're saying that we should put more focus on that as opposed to the issues like abortion and um, I don't know what else is uh, gun control. Wait, who should? They're saying Who's there we? should be maybe like a media focus. So they want to force the media to do something? To address these issues? That's more totalitarianism. The media is going to do what the media wants to do, and the abortion gets more views, and they need to make money for their advertisers. How do you feel about this? I don't think I understand it. I didn't think you did. It's uh, a stupid thing. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that, they, like... You're saying, hey, uh, NBC should address net neutrality and, like, big pharma and all that well, stuff? Well, they should talk about issues that aren't that aren't just partisan issues. Yeah, but then they don't make any. I mean, yes, there should be. Uh, maybe uh, Gary does, Gary's got nothing. I got nothing. How would it. you do this? Do you force NBC to do this? Um, hey, I guess. How do you get yeah. them to do this? I don't know. I don't know how, but I, I don't hate it. To get to get Fox News because to start the, talking about the internet. Because the the other uh, what is going on is that we're all focusing on partisan issues, and then everyone's judging the other person on what they think about abortion. That, right. that creates such a d- divisive America. I'd love for us to be th- trying to figure out issues that aren't so divisive. Yeah, but why? who are you going to get to do that? And how? Well, didn't, uh, didn't they used to have regulations on the news? They did, actually. They still have regulations on uh, basic cable. They still have some regulations. They had them before Reagan got rid of them. There was more regulations, and it was something about government, I think, funding or something. And uh, once he removed the regulations, uh, media and news became... Also, it was the 24-hour news cycle did this. There used to not be yeah. 24 hours, so they got to fill that 24 hours. Yeah, fucking do some... Uh, uh, throw some reruns of Friends on. <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't need. Who are you? Are you some weird hours? government agency? Yes. To yeah. your Fox News, I work for the government. Uh, yeah. <laughs> throw some reruns of Friends. <laughs> throw some Family Guy on. I want you to be done by eight p.m. <laughs> they can do. They they get seven to ten. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. They get okay. seven. To t- they can have prime time. Okay, Duterte. I mean, this is the thing. You gotta like. How do you tell? What are you gonna tell the media how to do it? You can't tell them what to do. Yeah. I mean, I see, yeah, sure, that would be good, but... Okay, how do you feel about the next thing, then? Which was, they were saying, create a media bias map uh, map tracker. So you, they track the bias of Fox or MSNBC. I mean, they already kind of have those. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's there, pretty there obvious. Like some think tank or some, like... Isn't it? Like, we're... They determine like what like media outlets are uh, more biased. Like, have you ever heard of the program on the media, like on NPR? I feel like like they do that. Like they, it's a program that like, hey, this is what they're talking about, and this is what they're talking on about. the media. I will on say this. Okay, remember yeah. uh, I told you about my uh, my psychiatrist, the conservative black dude who told me about um, what's the Shen Yun? Uh, oh, the dance. What's no? What's their uh, news? Uh, oh, Epoch Times. Epoch e- Times. Epic, yeah. Yeah. So, th- and this guy was like, uh, and Epic Times is so Trump. Uh huh. They're they're so about Trump, and they're like, he said, 
you should check out this news source. I feel like they're not biased. Oh. So there are people that don't understand that there that it, there is a bias thrown at them. No, I think they do. They just don't want to. I guess that's true. This Maybe guy was college educated. I'm sure he knew. Uh, he, the way that, I mean, he was saying that to me, and I'm like, I'm not convinced. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, but there are websites and um, different apps that do do that. Yeah. Already. and But, but to make but it a government, what, they want to make a government agency that does this? Yeah, I guess here's the issue is that there's no way, no one even trusts the government enough. Yeah, so no one would trust like, it. Yeah, they wouldn't trust it. Yeah, okay. stupid. And what are they going to do, put like a rating people. like they do with like, and see, this is TVMA, and then next to it, leans left. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's so stupid. Um, stupid. All right. Uh, How about this? Uh, I don't know. Make kids read more books. Problem solved. Well, that's the next one. What is it? Regulate media, entertainment, and internet. That was the next thing that they said. Um, that I mean, I think the internet has gotten to be a little bit too Wild West. And people are starting to agree with that. Yeah. Everyone's starting to come around. For a long time, it was free in them, free internet. And wait, weren't they saying net neutrality earlier? Yeah, but net neutrality, I think, is another thing. Like, I think there's a difference between internet content and internet access. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Points, Wilfred. Wait, where's Gary? 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 What do you got over there? He's like four points, bu- four uh, bullet points behind. <laughs> no, Gary, yeah. he's formulating an idea. Regulate the media, uh, regulate entertainment, regulate the internet. What do you think, Gary? Is the internet too wild? Uh, It's wild enough. It's fine. Gary thinks it's fine. I think it's accessibility that they're talking about, right? No. No? No. Is, no. We're talking about the content. No, you gotta we're you, you gotta be able to have whatever out there. Oh, so you want you think skibbity toilet fine? Yeah, Gary, free internet man. Yeah, you think uh, OnlyFans fine? Yeah, you think all of this stuff like uh, access to porn, kids having access to porn while in school, fine? Uh, it's not fine, but you have to teach them what that is though, and like why are they watching it? Like, I watch porn and sex because, like, oh, I don't know what it is. No one's telling me what this is. And there's this. You don't uh, know what sex is? <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was introduced to all that stuff, I was like, no one tells you what it is and what, like, the consequences. Yeah, but that's a weird. That's not sex. That's porn. Yeah. But, like, you're drawn to it because, like. You think that, like. Uh, I was drawn so there's to it. Some, yeah. Let's say it's you. You. The first thing that you see, instead of like, you know, I'm sure you watch, like, maybe you saw Playboy magazines or something, right? Yeah. Let's say that it's not that, and it's uh, it's f- girls, get, like, black.com or whatever, okay. or a uh, fart, <laughs> fart dog. What's the one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's websites out there. You talking dog, dog fart? Dog fart. Dog fart. <laughs> With interracial yeah. sex or whatever. No, no, no. It's just like, uh, it's like bukkake shit. And it's like one girl being treated, you know, yeah. uh, being fucked by like 18 guys. And that's out there, right? We and can't stop that. Yeah, well, that's where that's what they're saying is like maybe we can regulate that. And I don't think it can be regulated. So you guys got to tell these you got to tell these kids like what actually It can be is. regulated. You think? They're in the they're in the process of trying to make it happen. Oh, that's they're doing the IDs. You have to show your yeah, ID. That's why yeah, that's por- just ID and when they I uh, remember being a kid and going to the magazine section of a party store and looking at those magazines. And so we... Uh, magazines, I'm not concerned about. But that's how we got the information back then. Like, you know, through... Like, that was one of the sources of information. All right, so Gary's stance is uh, everyone's going to be a pervert anyways. <laughs> no, he said he's just got to talk to the kids. Yeah. I, Gary's uh, whole philosophy is you talk to everybody. You talk to everybody <laughs> and you let them know. You talk enough, you're right. <laughs> I do think the IDs to go to them is stupid. There's got to be yeah. some kind of. I don't know how you that. Yeah, easily. and I'm not saying, and I'm also not even like okay. Uh, I'm not even about censoring porn. I do uh, think I'm, there needs to be it needs to be harder to get to though. I think it needs to be a little bit harder to get to. I also yeah. think that f- we should probably regulate content in some sense. I don't know if you're like the. Here's what I think: if you're like the hundredth person to do a TikTok dance. Mm-hmm. You're blocked for two days. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What? <laughs> like, because everything on TikTok is someone doing the same exact shit. I oh, keep on seeing like, oh, here's like I'm oh, doing well, the viral fine. Let dance. Them dance. Yeah. I think if you're the hundredth person or 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 above, <laughs> you're blocked. No, let them all you're dance. You're blocked for two days. The dancing's fine, Wilfred. Yeah, dancing I remember <laughs> in eleventh grade, I saw that soldier get kidnapped by Al Qaeda, and they sawed his head off. <laughs> <laughs> but and that won't leave my brain. But if you're the hundredth person to do that, <laughs> block. <laughs> block. Right. for two days. We've already seen this. Yeah, there's a limit of how many. It's like ki- let's be a little bit more creative. <laughs> yeah, there is some of that wild stuff out there, and I do agree the pornography. Some like. I, uh, you know, the c- magazine, you're like, oh no, a girl showing her titties and she's wearing a college shirt, yeah. you know. But then now it's just like the yeah. upper floor and you're like jesus christ yeah. <laughs> maybe there's like uh maybe you can you have uh full access to like entry level porn soft core yeah semi-hard. I, don't know, I don't know how you slow them down yeah. a quiz maybe some kind of quiz <laughs> so you check on the 18 and over thing and then yeah. you get a quiz and then they send you to a quiz <laughs> and so you have to be like when 9 11 happened you know <laughs> where were you yeah <laughs> 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 Who shot Reagan? All right, you know, we got to keep like moving. That. We're w- well past the hour. Regular uh, people with history of mental illness problems can't get guns. That's one of their points. Gary, <laughs> that was so random. Um, Do you agree? Disagree? Yeah, people with history with mental illness shouldn't get guns. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So you're not gonna give a gun to the diarrhea lady? She doesn't know. Okay. All right. She doesn't know where to shit, let alone is she gonna know why. What she's going to do with a gun. Man, you almost had a bit there. Yeah, you were so <laughs> close, Gary. You had the first part. You didn't know what to do with the second. Jeff, agree? Disagree? Yeah, of course. All right. I don't know what they... Common sense, common things. sense things. I don't r- remember what that w- was about. Um, um, that there are just some things that are common sense. Yeah, I don't know what that... Um, And then the last one was more acknowledgement that compassion and com- competence cannot be m- mutually exclusive. I don't remember what that was about. I remember thinking that, uh, like, uh, oh, acknowledging the fact that oh, compassion and competence can. Okay, that makes sense. You have to acknowledge that compassion, Gary, <laughs> talking to the lady diarrhea, yeah, and competence taking her away somewhere mm-hmm. against her will via arrest of some sort can't be musically. They can't. You can't do both of those things together. Oh, okay. You so can't they, be like, oh, you it, sweet lady. So you can be compassionate and you can also arrest her ass. Both can exist in the same world. They can exist. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Gary, you were trying to make it mutually exclusive because you're like, defund the police, uh, give her a hug. No, I wasn't. Was get I? her phone number. Let's. Uh, I like this. I think this is the way to go. All right. Now he's a Fung Brotherhood, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll never be a Fung Brotherhood. But the only thing that I, I was. Uh, with this one i was like all of that is uh, it's subjective yeah it's case by case so compassion is subjective by person uh and how you define competence is subjective Mm, well i found i found them to be a little communist gary you're quite left and i think we've pulled you over to the center a bit yeah sounds like you closer uh, wilfred You're a dictator. No, I'm a socialist. You are a dictator. I'm a socialist. This is how socialism starts. You get a guy like me to to you know start a revolution. Next thing you know, I'm in charge of the you revolution. You would absolutely rule Next the thing you know, fil- rule, rule you've the all got with you've all got fist. shirts with my face on it. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wilfred face shirts. Yeah, Wilf Guerrera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah. All right. That's a whole episode. Um. Gary, do you got any final thoughts? Um. Why? What are we looking at? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was like, wait. I thought we were looking at something. I was like, uh, no. He, we're looking. Uh, he's reading the the comments. I was just reading the comments. They're final saying soft core doesn't exist anymore. Well, it doesn't. Um. <laughs> <laughs> kind of doesn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, more compassion. More yeah. compassion, Gary. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that brilliant statement. Um, yeah, thanks for listening, you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah.